Good afternoon uh, and happy Monday. I am jumping on just to share an update of what we did last week and sort of where we are in session right now. So um, we passed a lot of bills last week. I'm not gonna go into detail on every one of them. If you have questions, please reach out. Um, I did make a few posts on social media about individual bills, so there's some information there as well. Also, um, will be more information in my email newsletter that's coming out today. Um, and so uh, more details there, but just as a, as a quick Quick note, uh, last Monday we passed the housing bill, but I am proud to serve on that committee as the as the vice chair and really proud of this great bill. It's a billion dollars in, in investment into housing across the state, focused on rental assistance, uh, home ownership, and increasing our supply. So really, really um, a great bill. So proud to vote yes. Uh, we also passed education bills last week on Monday, um, both finance and policy. So historic investments into education, $2.3 billion, um, and includes $300 million into early childhood, which is, of course, uh, near and dear uh, to me and, and the work that I've been doing. So really great bills that I was proud to vote yes on. Uh, last Tuesday, we also did jobs and economic development, labor and industry, and state and local government policy. Also really great bills, uh, proud to vote yes on all of those as well. Last Wednesday was a big day for democracy. We passed the um, elections policy omnibus bill, which is a, a great bill. Um, and we also passed the Democracy for the People Act. And so my bill um, that I have talked about before, really um, putting the voices of Minnesotans at the center of our democracy. It includes um, secure automatic voter registration, pre-registration for 16 and 17 year olds, it includes um, closing some dark money loopholes so we don't have foreign influenced corporations spending money in our elections. Uh, it includes getting us up to the federal standard for some disclosure um, pieces for spending money in our elections. It includes making sure that folks have resources if they speak um, languages other than English, that they've got resources at the polling places. Uh, really um, a number of great things. Oh, also a permanent absentee voter list. Uh, so really proud to get this bill across the finish line. It is a fabulous package bill. Um, stay tuned for a bill signing for that bill soon. Also, we heard the um, uh, egg policy bill that day as well. Another great bill. Uh, then last Thursday, we heard the transportation bill. Really great pieces in that bill as well. Commerce policy, and then a, a Department of Human Services policy bill, and a Department uh, Minnesota Department of Health policy bill. Um, Proud to vote yes on all of those. Um, and then last Friday, we passed um, the cannabis bill, so legalizing personal adult use cannabis. This is a, a, a policy that has been worked on for many years. Um, my colleague and friend, Senator Lindsey Port, um, shepherded this uh, across the finish line and, and it passed on a party line vote. This is important to me, and I've talked about this before, um, both as a racial justice issue. Uh, we know that our, our current policy uh, of, you know, doesn't work is and it has harmed communities for many years. People are using cannabis now, it just in not a safe way. You what what folks are buying, they don't know what's in it, they don't know what they're getting. And so having a thoughtful policy around regulating a substance that people are using now and will continue to use um, is for me the, the best thing to do. And so I'm proud to vote yes on that as well. Um, so now, today, Monday, um, I'll uh, be in touch uh, later this week with the other bills that we pass. We are um, appointing regents uh, to the U of M this evening, and conference committees are happening. Now that we've passed um, bills out of both the House and the Senate, when those are different, they meet up in a conference committee to work out the differences. And so that's the work that's happening now. Um, I am serving on the Health and Human Services Conference Committee, very happy about that. Also uh, excited to serve on the uh, elections state local gov um, uh, conference committee. So that is the work that is happening this week. We will also be passing bills. Uh, uh, the tax bill will be up tomorrow. So I'll be back to share more information about all of that. And as always, reach out if you have questions and have a great day.